From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Craig Flint, your weather authority. Hey, good evening, gang. Here's a look live right now, the Sam Catania weather camera as we look into Edinburgh. Every once in a while, you have a snow shower come by, some light snow, and that's what we're going to be watching as we head uh, deeper into the uh, overnight. 25 the high today. I think we're going to be similar uh, to that tomorrow. We started out at 3 this morning. Many areas were down below zero, uh, zero by 15, 20, uh, even lower uh, in parts uh, of the area uh, this morning. So without a doubt, that's below uh, normal records. 72, that's nice, right? Minus 7 back in 1883. Wasn't that far off, but records stayed safe. Out the door tomorrow morning, here's what you can expect. We're going to have some light snow uh, coming in as we head through uh, the late night and into the day on Sunday. Some light snow and then some areas of lake effect snow. And that's why we have a winter weather advisory. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, out the door tomorrow morning, make sure you're dressing uh, for temperatures, real field numbers anyway, in the single digits. So I mentioned that we do have a winter weather advisory. This is for uh, Erie County into Ashtabula and then up into Chautauqua County uh, as well. Speaking to the fact that these are the areas that will probably have to move and manage some snow as we go through the day on Sunday. We'll go over those numbers for you in a moment. Uh, numbers tonight, not bad at the pier, 26. It's 22 right now uh, in Edinburgh. Greenfield's at 20, 22 in Union City. Off to the uh, east uh, into French Creek uh, and Cory. Uh, 20 degrees there uh, as we shift the view into Warren County. We're in the low 20s, Chandler's Valley, North Warren at 23, 18 right now in Scandia. And we're in the low 20s across much of uh, Crawford County. All right, so we've had a little bit of light snow trying to come through, but notice all of this out to the west. That's an area of low pressure. Clipper system, that's going to zip through here. What that's going to do is realign the wind speeds, or the wind direction anyway, which has been predominantly south and west, but there's actually a front tucked in here as well. Once that front goes through, we're going to see winds shift into the west and northwest, which is a favorable flow for some lake effect snow for Erie. So you'll be able to see this here on Futurecast. Watch as we go through the overnight. There's that lake effect snow setting up. Remember where the winter weather advisories are, okay? So Erie County up into Chautauqua and back at Ashtabula. With the winds being in the westerly direction, that's a favorable flow. I think that band is going to kind of hang out over Erie County the longest. Uh, so that's why I think the highest totals will likely be near uh, I-90 and over interior sections of Erie County. That's why we've got you in the 3 to 8. Now, that doesn't mean everybody gets 8, okay? we got to give some love to the low numbers here. But right along I-90, I wouldn't be surprised if there were a few areas that get upwards of 8 inches. The rest of us, it's a widespread 2 to 4. Jet pinpoint for the lake shore. Uh, some light snow and areas of lake effect snow around through Sunday. Blustery 24 to 28 areas south of I-90. Some snow likely through the early afternoon. 21 to 25 will take you east to Chautauqua County and into Warren County uh, and uh, Forest as well. 18 to 22, some snow likely tapering off by the evening. Partly sunny Monday morning, but clouds race in again and some light snow redevelops by late Monday into Tuesday. Lake effect snow and snow showers around. Brutally cold by Wednesday, we'll keep you up to date with everything right there on the website at yourerie.com. Not a lot of snow uh, for the most part, pretty manageable compared to what we went through last weekend. All righty, Craig, thank you very much. Coming up next on Jet 24 Action News at 11 o'clock, a karate chop of a story over at the Bayfront Convention Center. We'll take you to the martial arts tournament after the break.